Hello and welcome to the SRCC podcast. My name is Shauna Kelly and I am one of the project workers here in the centre. Sligo Rape Crisis Centre offers support to anyone who has been affected by sexual violence. We are here to listen. We offer information, advice and a range of supports across Sligo, Leitrim and Cavan. You can contact us on 1800 750 780 or info at srcc.ie. Here with me today is SRCC Counselling Coordinator Danielle Neely. Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss disclosures and give some information and advice on the best way for you to support a loved one after a disclosure. So to start, let's explain what exactly a disclosure is. When ourselves or other agencies like ours talk about disclosures, we are referring to a friend or family member telling you about an experience of sexual violence that they have had in their life. This experience may have happened yesterday or many years ago. It can be extremely difficult for someone to share their story, so if they are telling you what has happened, it likely means that they consider you an important and trustworthy person in their life. This means that the way you respond to this disclosure matters a lot. The first piece of advice we have is to believe the person. Those three words, I believe you, can be so powerful and very important for the person to hear. Many survivors experience shame after sexual violence and knowing that you believe and support them can help make things feel a little easier during such a difficult time. There are a lot of myths out there that people lie about experiencing sexual violence, but that is in fact extremely uncommon. If someone tells you that they have had a negative sexual experience, maybe the words they use are different than the words you would use, but it is important to always believe them. It is important to listen to the person and what they are saying in a non-judgmental and caring way. Like we mentioned earlier, telling someone that you have been assaulted can be extremely difficult and it takes a lot of courage. It is important not to push for any details that they do not feel ready to share. It is also important not to ask questions such as, who was it? Were you drinking? Where did it happen? And so on. As this can make the survivor feel like what happened was their fault. Sexual violence is never the survivor's fault. Other things that are important when someone makes a disclosure is to be patient and compassionate towards them. Try not to interrupt or make comments such as I'll kill them as this can cause more stress to the survivor. You may be feeling very emotional which is of course a valid reaction to being told that someone you care about has been through a traumatic event but remaining calm makes it easier for the survivor to feel safe sharing what has happened and not to feel like they made a mistake by sharing their story. Giving the survivor a chance to make their own choices and decisions can be helpful in healing. Experiencing sexual violence involves a loss of agency and power for that person. So having the space to make a choice about what happens next is really important. Whether that choice is deciding what movie they would like to watch with you as a distraction or about reporting what has happened, it can make the difference to that person's recovery. Please remember, try not to pressure them to make a specific choice or interrogate them about what they have decided. Hello, you are listening to the SRCC podcast, which is coming to you today from our head office on Kempton Parade in Sligo Town, just beside the Garavogue River. There are support services available throughout the country to assist people who have experienced sexual violence, including rape crisis centres and sexual assault treatment units. The survivor doesn't need to make an appointment straight away. Even just knowing that there is a helpline they can call for a chat can be a comfort to people. It can be extremely difficult to ask for support and every service that works with people who have experienced trauma understands the huge amount of courage it takes to pick up the phone or write an email to reach out for support. If anyone wants to contact us here in SRCC, our helpline number is 1-800-750-780 and our email is info at srcc.ie. It is also important to remember that these services are also there to support you too. It can be difficult 
to learn that a person you care about has experienced sexual violence. And it is important that you also get the support to help you deal with this. Having a safe place to explore your emotions and thoughts about what has happened can help you to better support your loved one. It can be hard to know what to do or what to say in a situation like this. So please know that there are people out there that can help you and that you can talk to and get advice. There are many guides and resources available online with information on the next steps to take after experiencing sexual violence and the different options available. You can let the person know that resources like these are available for them to read if they choose. There are also lots of resources on self-care after sexual violence. Taking time to mind yourself after a traumatic experience is very important and that can look different for everybody. For some people, it could be having a duvet day and resting for a while. For others, it could be going for a long walk or making an appointment with a counsellor. It is also helpful to keep checking in with your friend or family member every so often to see how they are. This doesn't mean that you need to ask in detail about what has happened, but just a simple how are you getting on can help make them feel more supported and aware that you're there for them if they need it. If you or the person who has disclosed to you are under the age of 18, it is very important that they tell a trusted adult about what has happened. This could be a parent, older sibling, teacher, youth worker or other adult they trust. Doing this means the survivor can get the best help possible and ensure that they are safe. It can be very scary to tell someone what has happened, so it could be helpful to offer to be there as a moral support for them while they tell their trusted adult. You don't necessarily have to say anything, but just knowing there is a supportive person there can make things easier for the survivor. There can be different considerations when someone receives a disclosure as part of their work, particularly if they are a mandated reporter under Irish legislation. However, the points we have previously mentioned are still very important when it comes to supporting a survivor who has disclosed an experience of sexual violence to you. If you are a professional and have a specific question about receiving a disclosure, we would recommend talking to the designated liaison person or DLP in your workplace, or you are always welcome to contact SRCC on 1800 750 780. Thanks for listening to the SRCC podcast. If you would like more information, some support, or if you would like to make an appointment, please get in touch with us on 1800 750 780 or info at srcc.ie. We're here to listen.